I wanted to put it out there because I know people get their fucking panties in a bunch. We're not making a moral declaration on being gay or not. We're just trying to do science. And as <laughs> the straightest men, maybe to have ever walked the earth, we just want to make sure that we are adhering to our own sexuality, which is very rigid and pointing in only one direction. Welcome back to Cream Crew. You'll all be pleased to know that Hunter is not here today. So it is just your favorite two men in the world, Tom and Don. Yippee! That's right. That means Look, no rude interrupt. I'm wearing the hat. Don't interrupt me. That means no rude interrupt. What hat? Oh, the Cream Crew hat. I'm wearing the hat. The Cream Crew hat. Yeah. Well, that's silly because it's not even out Can't yet. Keep it straight on my head. It's not. No. So, now so the patrons got a preview of the hat last week, and I guess this will be public. So. There will be this beautiful embroidered cream crew hat soon. One day, soon, when the gods will it. Anyway, continue, Tom. What were you saying? Nothing important, but I did have a philosophical quandary that struck me in the middle of the night. It fucking came to me mm. like a like a white lightning bolt, and it kept me up, and I couldn't sleep again for four days. Ooh. And I got into my fucking, my nice philosophizing blankie, and I'm ready to have it out with you over this very interesting question. Let's hear it. Okay. Well, Hold on. I'm going to turn my fan off because I think it's probably. I'm going to keep my fan noise. on because I care more about the temperature of my skin than I do the, the good, good listener who aren't on Patreon. The fan will be turned off for the Patreon episodes only. That is a Patreon exclusive perk. That's patreon.com forward slash cream crew. No fan noise in the background. $5 a month, four extra episodes, one a week. That's pretty good value. Yeah, my, sh my shot has also, well, all of it's been a little shitty for the last couple of weeks because I had COVID. So I've been home, but we'll return to full 4K next week. Anyway, what's your, what's your fascinating question for everybody? Tom? Okay, well, let's start with a given. We all know mm -hmm. that jerking off to cartoons is really gay. But yeah. it did get me thinking. What kind of cartoons? Any, I mean, any cartoons. All cartoons? Yes. Any cartoons are gay. Okay. No, right, no, cartoons ahead. aren't gay. Jerking off to them is gay. Okay. Right, so it's homo, it's homosexual, and you're you're probably attracted to men if you jerk off to cartoons. Well, maybe not that exact definition of gay, but the definition that we all accept. <laughs> well, I have a sneaking suspicion we're about to conflate definitions of gay. Yes, so absolutely. I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, that's that's a that's a feature, not a bug. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, but it got me thinking, is... Let's say you jerk off to cartoon porn. Okay? Mm -hmm. Let's just say that's the thing you do. <laughs> Couldn't be me. Is it more gay or less gay if the cartoon porn in question is Futa? Now, for people who don't know what Futa is, Futa is, uh, you know, it's hentai, but... One of the chicks, or both, but probably just one of the chicks will have a cock. So, obviously, it's drawn. It's a cartoon, but she will have a ginormous dick, and she'll fuck the other girl with it. Is that more or less gay than regular uh, hentai? Is Futa always two girls and just, one is a dick? Uh, you're, just, you're, getting, you're, get, <laughs> you're getting way off course. Just engage with the spirit of the question. We're not playing okay. semantics. This is this is down to the okay. fucking. This is like important for a lot of people. It, okay. If you take one cartoon girl, but she has a massive cock and she's fucking another cartoon girl, is that more gay than a cartoon man fucking a cartoon girl? Because in in like a, a way, that's an extra pair of tits that weren't there before, and you're attracted to the mm. feminine. Uh, you know. This nature of her, how she looks, she wouldn't have a buzz cut and hairy armpits. She'd look like a you know regular old 
good fa- good old fashioned American pie fucking ice cream girl, <laughs> but with a massive dick. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. what do you think? Okay, so two lesbians in a cartoon having sex. I, I don't know. That's, I think the conflation of just calling cartoons well, but it's a cartoon though, so it is gay. Well, yeah, okay, ignore that. We just take that out of the equation. <laughs> well, that's what's that's what I knew was gonna throw me, Tom. Well, just fucking use your big boy brain. All right. So, so in the spirit, of, in the spirit of the question, watching two cartoon girls fuck is not gay. No, if we just accept ha- that watching being off the cartoons isn't gay, even though it is, if we just pretend it's not, what's more gay? Okay. And obviously, like, it's mm-hmm. not gay for two women to fuck in a cartoon and you be off to that. That's straight. It's not gay at all. That's There's straight. Nothing gay. <laughs> nothing gay about that. That's straight. Yeah. Absolutely. So now okay. one of the girls grows one a dick. One of them has a dick. One of them, yes. yeah, one of them grows a dick because the men in Japan cannot help themselves and they have to do something yes. to make this weirder. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so less gay or more gay than just normal man-woman relations in a cartoon? I think, um, I think I'm going to go with probably more gay, but... The obvious counterpoint to that is, well, well, okay, dude, why, why is a, uh, why is a little hentai boy that doesn't have tits fucking that same chick not gay? Yeah, you, Cause, you're, cause you're, you're effectively, taking, yeah, you're enjoying his fucking. You're, you're effectively just taking the same hentai boy and slapping tits on him. Well, no, and now it no, it seems would, sort of gay. No, the the hip ratio would be bigger, just like a woman's. <laughs> she would have big doughy <laughs> eyes, just like a girl. You know, it's, okay. It's, God, God gets a hold of the same hentai boy and molds him bigger hips. Well, you're and you're poisoning the well. You're poisoning the well and grows his hair. Don, you're poisoning well, they, the, the well. All they all they all look the same. You cut. Oh, okay. Same. okay. All right. This that's not what that's not. <laughs> <laughs> so it's effectively it's the same. Easy up now. That's, that's what not always. That's a different debate for a different day. Do they all look the same? Okay. We're just talking about... You can't start from the premise it's an anime boy that gets turned into a girl. It's just okay. we, we don't know that. That's poisoning the well. Okay, well, certainly at one point in universe, this anime girl was a boy and decided to be a girl. What? Right? No. Why? Well, you can't... You can't... You can't... Well, can't actually, can you? I don't, I don't even know the state of... Uh, transition science can you go to the hospital and get a like fully functioning dick that like gets Tran- erect and stuff transitioning and science does has nothing to do with the fucking crazy imagination of 70 <laughs> japanese men like stuffing in a cubicle drawing this shit all day it's a, it's no, a fucking this, fantasy but, world okay so this so this is like a magic not only is this a chick with a huge dick and huge tits but she she's also like an elf She's she doesn't a have to creature. be an elf. She can just exist in the, this place. But yes, okay, sure. But, she, but she, we're, we're, we're assuming she was always this way. She always had a 13-inch cock with the girth of a Coke okay. can and massive <laughs> natural breasts. Okay. Right. It's tough, isn't it? Hmm. <laughs> How do you feel about this? I don't know. Hey! Don't you fucking, don't you fucking rev- hey, well, Uno I've, reverse I've card been, me. I've been, su- I've been, I've been sussing out my own opinion for the last yeah, uh, nine fucking minutes. Sus, I'll tell you that. So, so what about your opinion? Um, it's really tough because my instinct says it's more gay, but I don't know if that's based on facts and science and reason, or if that's just based on the Bible. Let the record show. <laughs> my instinct also <laughs> tells me. <laughs> <laughs> that this is more gay, but I'm willing to talk it out and be proven wrong in my initial instinct. Yes. This is fast turning into an episode of Big Brain. Um, which, hey, plug, is basically a, a talk show where me and Don debate just just these kind of things. We do exactly this. It's crazy. Yeah. What a crazy uh, coincidence. It's, it, it is it is crazy that's, we're now doing this. Yeah, on that's crazy Creeper on on the Tom Hunter and Don channel. There is Big Brain. Uh that's yeah. really good and funny. Anyway, back to the yeah. question. 
that came up randomly out of nowhere. Um, yeah, I'm, sh- I'm sure we won't mention Big Brain again at any point during this episode. I wouldn't. Least, that's how I'm feeling right I now. I don't want people yeah. feeling like we planned this. Um, All right, so anyways. Yeah. How... So your so your instinct is that it is indeed more gay than the very straight version of hentai, where it's a little hentai boy fucking a big titted hentai girl. It could also be a hentai man. I don't just just gonna put that out there. It doesn't okay. have to be a okay a hentai a hentai man of with con- his hair of, just so of consent an age of a yes, consenting age. Yes. Okay. <sighs> Again, my instinct so is you're yes, saying but your instinct logic, is my instinct right. is yes because uh, I think you can like here's okay. Here's why. So I think in your head you take a girl and you add a penis to her, and now you're jacking off like looking at this girl with a penis and adding a penis to something you find attractive is making it feel gay because it's less feminine than it mm-hmm. was before. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you're not really going to be focusing on the dick aspect in an attraction way, right? You're just going to be... Fo- in, the same sense, in the same sense that you wouldn't be... If you're, fo- if you're watching a hentai man... Fuck exactly. The, Nothing about the dick is making you like, girl. oh yeah, that's awesome. You're just like, oh boobs, fucking pussy, and they're fucking and sick, like titties. Well, I think for a lot of people, you're sort of imagining his hentai dick is your Ooh, dick. Ooh, that's a land. twist. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's a twist because maybe that they're always like a self insert, like they yeah, uh, nice. they have like generic brown hair, and you don't see their face, you know, because you're meant to sort of become the hentai man. Well. I guess that's an interesting. And I think, you know, when you, when you watch re, when you watch regular porn, it's kind of the same suspension of disbelief. Just like when you watch any movie, you know, you're kind of uh, yeah, you're the you, dude. You feel the the fear, the the tension of the character. Yeah, yeah. I can see. I can. I can. If I you know deign to to tread into pornography, I can. I can barely watch anything apart from POV now. I have to I have to be in there. I have to be in the action. You have to you have to be the man. You yeah. can't just be watching. If I'm watching someone else. Yeah, then fucked. that feels like I'm a cog. That feels like I'm there like <laughs> with a camcorder like You got to be fucking them. Yeah. Yeah, so I need to pretend it's me. And I will yeah. be buying a $3500 Apple Vision headset pro and I will make that experience 10,000 times realer. So but is it gay to pretend that you have tits. Well, you see, this is what I'm saying. Fuck. Yes, that, that would that would be tits. super gay. This is what I'm, this what's is, gay. About, <laughs> what's gay about it though? Well, this this is what I'm saying. It's like maybe what feels so gay about it is if you try and self insert uh, as that character. Now you have boobies and be acting like super feminine. But but maybe you're but maybe you're getting off to your own tits. No, because they're flopping. Getting off to your own femininity, like as a man, feels super gay. Because but this gets really complicated <laughs> because there's there's like effeminate gay men and then there's like gay men who aren't effeminate. You know what I mean? Right. Like you got bears right. and twinks okay. and shit. But yeah. I do think it's like a universal that men generally aspire to be masculine. And being feminine is gay. Being sure. feminine definitely at all probably has a higher <laughs> correlation. You know, I would yes. say like on average, gay men are probably more. Uh, there's more of a feminine subsect than heterosexual men, based on absolutely nothing at I all except fair. my lived experience. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. You gotta you get the higher pitch of voice thing going on sometimes, which obviously isn't. I don't think it's even like a genetic thing. I think it's like an affectation of speech that is Mm -hmm. like learnt sometimes, whatever. My point is, is maybe that correlates to why it feels more gay because as a man to be more... Being feminine at all. Being more feminine makes, drags you closer to that realm because there's more of a uh, amount of that demographic that acts in a feminine manner. But that doesn't... Think of it this way. Think of it this way. So you 
you a man, your consciousness gets teleported to hentai land yeah. and sits inside of this big titted woman with a huge dick. Yes. And you are just looking down sort of from this point of view at the tits that are on this body. You act, you, you happen to be occupying flopping while simultaneously fucking the other chick with your giant hentai penis. Yeah. I'm, the, I'm imagining so is, but that. I'm so that. is that, is that following, is that following the same principle of like, Oh, you're being feminine. So that's gay versus like sort of watching. See, I think that uh, I think you control another body that has tits. You know what I mean? Well, that's the thing is like, I think when you are that magical creature that doesn't, you know, that the Japanese men dreamed up, I think when you are, you're kind of given a liberty to enjoy your breasts. <laughs> you're kind of allowed okay. to have a bit of a feminine bent to you, a little feminine streak, because, you know, that's, that's, it's allowed. that's what you are. You're just. Um, yeah. sexy anime girl with a big horse dick and it's not your fault so yeah i don't know Do th that man that's i guess that is like a uh that is a that must be a moral loophole for god if you're born a hermaphrodite then you can't you can't be gay can hermaphrodites you know I mean? get boners i think so I, I don't know. What even really is a hermaphrodite? I know that it's like a man and a woman that's combined it's into just some, some unique some creature. Made up. Just, <laughs> well, I just mean... Made up fantasy creature. I just... It's, I don't know. It's like people say, okay, it's got it's someone with both man and woman parts, but like, give me the extent of that. Are they uh, infertile? Yeah. Well... Can they get well, a boner? Well, in this, in this specific case... Well, in this specific case, they, they might not be a hermaphrodite. Women's They're, hips and face and hair and big tits. Yeah, 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 just yeah, grew yeah, but that's not a hermaphrodite. Without any intervention, and a giant dick grew without any intervention. That's not a hermaphrodite, Don. That is what we call an angel. And it's it's something completely <laughs> separate. <laughs> it's that's nothing to do with real life. That's just a f creation. Well, so anyways, I think where we left off is we were agreeing that emulating any femininity in yourself is usually for gay guys. That's like a gay guy thing, and that's fine. But there are know? like but that's, feminine that's part of being gay. But there are feminine guys who like smash pussy. Like think of you know the. the I mean, a lot. Of we don't like them, right? <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. We, right. we don't. We don't respect. Them. We don't respect it. We yeah. don't accept those it. guys. Suck. Fuck those guys. And yep. They're breaking the rules. They can't have it all. They can't both be extremely mm -hmm. comfortable with their, you know, body and being more feminine and also slay tons of pussy. That's not fair. <laughs> Fucking yeah. It's not fair, and I don't. So, so yeah. What? So anomalies. So anomalies aside, just catching ourselves back up. We are. So you wait. You place agreed. You place like feminine men who still fuck in like an anomaly category. Uh, in turn, yeah. It's it's kind of like unless you want to attempt to s square this, it is kind of an exception to the binary of. You know, nice. doing feminine stuff is gay. You know what I mean? Yeah, they are usually like fucking like rock stars, and and they have that they're such special little fucking twinkle twinkle little stars that they have to have a job where they literally earn like <laughs> quadrillion dollars doing something rad, and then they can be more like feminine and get loads of pussy. Yeah, and it's not fair. Yeah, and that's not fair. So we're gonna like put them in a little exclusionary zone. And maybe mm -hmm. a fucking work camp afterwards. <laughs> get them in the fucking get them in the sunlight, doing some hard labor, like us, like we do, like real men. That's right, like real men, dirt under our fingernails every day. That's right. Um, so okay, excluding them. Yes, do doing feminine stuff is gay, but what what I was asking is because we're talking about is it gay to jerk off to Futa? Right. Yeah. Or more gay or whatever. Is it gay to jerk off to Fuda? So, and once again, I'll remind the audience that I th my instinct is yes, but I'm just giving the devil his due. Um, if, if you, uh, if you in the act of watching Fuda are imagining that you have transported your consciousness into this woman with a dick, and it's kind of like, 
<laughs> it's kind of like you imagine like they're like a skin suit and your big 13 inch dick is just sticking out of it you know what i mean right and then just from your perspective the dick is you and then you're just like watching the tits flop and then that's well cool. you're basically what Even you're though- like what you're rounding on is that it's it's gay because it's more gay because you are self inserting into a feminine a more feminine kind of man with a cock well no i'm questioning if it's if it's neither here nor there if it's if it's a different thing entirely it's not like you choosing to act feminine it's you witnessing perfection um femininity you know someone else's femininity and then getting off to it well yeah see that's that's a good point because if you're third person and you've got the like Mm -hmm. camera you're you're no longer like a cuck because you're not watching necessarily (laughs) another man fuck this woman you're watching two women one of which has a penis and you're just enjoying the uh the woman parts and the dick is just Mm -hmm. an implement not too dissimilar from a strap-on that is helping mm. both girls get mm. off and uh, <laughs> you know you enjoy that feminine release as she blasts boat loads of cum from a giant horse cock what is gay about that <laughs> this this kind of raises <laughs> another uh <laughs> exception to consider as well so uh, well, I'm not. I'm gonna. I'm gonna try to keep this apolitical. So we're still in fantasy land here, okay? Uh oh. So we're imagining. Imagine if this woman with the dick had a vagina a second ago, and then someone magicked the giant dick between their legs, right? Right. Then it. Then it kind of absolutely is like what you just said. It's. It's just two lesbians, and one of them has, you know, this convenient implement. No, because of the wizard, uh, right? And that's what, what could be gay about that. So she's like, she gets magic to cock, and now she's definitely no. Just, she, just we know she's a woman. Just, just for yes, the duration. Like, literally, just for the duration. Of it. <laughs> maybe, maybe her uh, lesbian sex partner is the wizard, and she that would make her a lot of sense. Grows a. She grows a giant dick, and then they fuck, and then the dick like falls off. After well, that's a bit grotesque. Can't it just like poof well, away? In see, a... Yeah, but you don't you don't see that part though, because you you know you, you get Can on. Can you your imagine day the fucking well just dead happens. cocks lying around the house? <laughs> you just like. I'm sure they sweep them up. You get lazy, and there's a, a fucking bin. rotting cock down the side of the bed. <laughs> that's true lesbians are gross lesbians are yeah. messy i think we can all agree that just take messy just take messy a people. woman and put her in a house with another woman and there you go you got <laughs> fucking good lord so rotten cocks everywhere <laughs> i don't see why it can't just fucking magic mm-hmm. away in a nice little you know puff of bubbles okay fine a nice but, little but scent are, of lavender but we are agreeing Right, that if it was just two women and like they just grew like a magic dick, that's sort of sort of paramount to just a fancy strap on, like you were saying. Yeah. Well, it fe- like it intuitively feels different than if the dick was always there. Okay. Grew up with it. Okay. Here we go. Here's okay. Here we go. Is it less gay to watch two lesbians, one with a strap on, than to watch heterosexual porn? Is that less gay? Oh. Uh, right? Uh. Yeah, that fucking made your brain big. Big brain, that's <laughs> Tom and Don. That's youtube.com forward slash Tom and Don. Big brain. You can also find episodes on Spotify. Um Yes. It's it seems like you would have to say yes. Wait, you wait, what? Yes, it's less gay. That's kind of what I'm thinking. It's like it has to be. Because it's definitely not more gay. Yeah. <laughs> it's nothing gay about lesbians fucking. Yeah. No, that's like just like two friends <coughs> ha- helping each other out and you get to watch. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Two friends who will inevitably go back to their, you know, boyfriends at some point <laughs> and they just happen to have a pillow fight and start fingering each other. 
and you get to watch. Especially if the dildo, if the strap on only superficially looks like a cock, like then we're really playing with fire. Oh, you know I mean? yeah. Okay. Cause, okay. Cause, that's, yeah. It could no, just that's be good. like, it's just like, uh, yeah. I just bubbles like just a, fucking like bubbles green. just appeared on my screen. I don't know what the fuck just happened, but bubbles just appeared on my <laughs> recording. Not bubbles, uh, balloons. Balloons just fucking flew up from the bottom of the floor. Congratulations. Are we, are we breaking through? Are we going to the other side? <laughs> 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 Done! I think an isake is beginning. I'll see you soon, buddy. I'm going on an adventure. <laughs> <laughs> to be to become the Futa woman. No, yeah. Well, yeah, I guess if I have to choose to be one of them, I want to be the, the one with the big cock. Um, mm. Well, I don't want to be the one what, fucked what by the big cock. Because I don't want to yeah. be fucked by a big dick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. But back to the point. Yeah, if you if you take two lesbian scenes, <laughs> the exact same lesbian scene, right, and one strap on is like a big, thick fucking... Sorry, my mouth's watering. A big, thick, see-through, like, purple <laughs> dick with, like, veins on it, right? Uh -huh. That's more gay mm -hmm. than if it's the same video, but it's just, like, a long cylindrical tube of Just looks like a like clown balloon. Yeah, it's just, it's like a fucking, yeah. a common object, you know, in a, in a JRPG. <laughs> it's just a, uh -huh. it's nothing special. <laughs> that is definitely less gay. Than watching straight porn. No, yeah. no. Than watching the dick shaped strap on. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, so we're just taking this to its absolute conclusion. So yes. we've already established the other thing. Yes. So, right. but the problem is, is it gets complicated <coughs> because part of that distinction is the existence of this alternative option in the first place. It's not kind of gay Which until well. the, you know, the very smooth balloon you know, sausage balloon shaped strap on versus like the big veiny cock strap on. Yeah. But is it all relative? What do you because mean? I think it's still because so, so you're, um, you're putting forward that there's a relativity. It's just, Oh, well compared to that, it's less, but right. without the comparison then, but if it isn't all relative and this actually reveals a logical truth that you have to have consistency across all scenarios, then it is maybe interesting. Yeah. Well, what do you think? I mean, <coughs> uh, I think I think the intuition to call the weird clown <laughs> balloon she's stuffing the other lesbian with less gay is because you're not looking at a dick, right? Yeah. Because it's, it's, it's gay. What we're putting forward is it's like gay to jerk off if there's a dick on the screen. Full stop. I, the problem is, man, is... To I've, some degree, if there is a relative uh, thing going on here. What were you going to say? The problem is, is this, my brain keeps going down like further down the rabbit hole. And, you know, <laughs> we're kind of laying our souls very bare here. And I hope you appreciate this. I'm not going to say feminine openness, <laughs> but this openness nonetheless, I kind of want the strap on to be shaped like a dick because in some weird twisted way, that's my dick she's wearing. You know what I mean? Mm. And I feel like this lesbian can't possibly get off to just some amorphous tube. It kind of needs to be a dick. Otherwise, it's just you know <laughs> not going to work. That's what the pussy is designed for. That shape with the little bell, you know, the little bell shape. And then all the, you know, ridges and... I just, it feels like that it sh should work better because God and nature intended it. Well, so, well this kind of, this gets at what I was talking about, where it's kind of experiencing the different pieces in a vacuum versus the whole thing holistically. You know what I mean? Right. It's like, you want the dick to be there so you can imagine it's your dick, but then you also want your eyes to kind of like flick between two chicks. Yes. Also. So it's, so it's, al it's almost like you're like constructing a threesome in your brain. And you by watching exist two solely in the, in the strap on. In the dick. That's, that's <laughs> your sole existence is compacted yeah. to the, well, well, the strap on. I think, it's like, I think it's like your brain like crops 
just that very small part of the screen and then you imagine oh that's me and then like oh my boobs. it's me and two chicks oh that's, yeah. yeah yeah and then maybe that's maybe that is how you fall for the food to trap oh that was a great pun it wasn't that was intentional i can actually say it was intentional it was uh, well a little golf clap to you that was a very big Thank brain you. comment that's youtube.com forward slash tom and don <laughs> oh wait that's not even right is it? Do... just type in tom and don on youtube and you will <coughs> find big brain i think this episode is gonna probably not stay monetized so god knows how many of you will get to listen to this but you know you for the did, lucky few you who make it in before the fucking censors at youtube come and rain on our parade for doing fucking simple science then you know, congrats that you made it <laughs> and you're one of the fucking, you're one of our boys who clicks as soon as they see a notification, which you should also do by subscribing to the Tom and Don channel featuring such hit wonders as Big Brain. All right, so we, it's, it seems like you come to some kind of conclusion with that. Well, with okay, sort of well, 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 hold on. Can you... Can you quantum construction of a three way? Well, can can what you atom saying? can you atomize yourself in the Futa scenario into the cock in the same way? Are you like? Is that what you're seeing? You're seeing the dick, like you're you're the dick, and there's something. The problem is, is it's like it's not an object <laughs> in a vacuum. It is like a flesh extension, and that changes things too. This is really a Theseus's ship kind of quandary, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> at, what point, at what point is the cock still your cock when it's been replaced so many times by <laughs> by strap-ons and cartoon dicks attached to cartoon chicks hmm. and similarly if you go back to the lesbian example if she has a strap-on but it's been realistically appliqued like a prosthetic and blended so it looks like it's her dick that kind of changes things too. Like it, like it, it makes it difficult to have that uh, imagination crop factor I was talking about, for whatever reason. Oh uh, yeah. Well, it's again, it's because it's like not uh, an inanimate object that you can pour your soul into. Much like a, it's not a like separate a, thing. Well, much like an lady. anime protagonist. The more so you now like, you are the lady. Well, well, yeah. Well, I'm, but it's it's kind of how Isekai's work in general. <laughs> it's like the the guy has to be so plain that you can self insert. As soon as he takes on too many yeah. unique characteristics and looks, you kind of lose your sense of self because he fills that gap of uh, personality. So, if anything, like right. yeah, a strap on is nature's Isekai when it comes to porn. <laughs> because as soon as it becomes attached then it's like why well, can't this is too big of a imagination well, you, barrier well yeah as soon as it like you let's say the strap on like you're saying is sculpted to look like a <laughs> dick that could match the woman it's attached to it's taken yeah, on too used, many like, of her qualities and makeup yeah it's it's taken on too many of her qualities mm. and now you can't you can't be the dick it's her dick right okay so but what degree what degree of separation is necessary because you also said you kind of want it to look like a dick but right. in looking like a dick it looks more like a human appendage and is closer yeah, to but looking if like it's, hers if it's purple if it's like lilac and see-through then i'm i'm cool uh, right well well that's yeah that's what i'm asking so you you can't you can't go for a fleshy realistic dildo strapped on but you can if it's like clearly not a human cock yeah if saying. it was if it was white like white skin looking at with like a you know the right color head that's too far for me <coughs> if it's like brown that's like way too far for me i just there's no there's just no way you know but what i guess like i don't actually believe you though like i think that you would no for real yeah i think you'd actually jerk off to this if it was so if what? it was Two two lesbians and they have a strap on. Yeah, but it it looks like a you know it's like painted like a dick. No, you would that this that would disqualify this porn. Like this is gay. Am I? I is it this. the only porn I have on a desert island? 
Um, I don't know. Maybe it's like the the best produced of five. Uh, you know, I don't need high production values. Sometimes, like the worse it is, the better. <laughs> you know, I, again, if I'm gonna self insert, I'm not. You know, I'm not being three point lit. You know, I'm not fucking sweating in the just perfect amount. I'm I'm a disgusting fucking pig rutting in two twenty two forty p with a choppy frame rate. That's more my vibe, but um. Yeah, I well, and 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 therefore your instinct is it's this is gay to watch. I'm not saying it's I'm not saying it's like gay. I'm just saying I can't self insert. You just into can't the cock. get you can't get into it. Yeah, I see. like okay. it give me that that you know. Well, that's yeah. Sorry, go ahead. Maybe that maybe that's something else to explore is like the um ability to self insert and it being gay are not mutually exclusive. So where does that leave us with the past arguments? I'm not gonna lie, my head is a whirlwind of cock right now. <laughs> I, can, I can barely keep up, you know, <coughs> pun intended. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I feel like it really has to come down to you can't self insert into the Futa girl. And mm -hmm. if you self insert into the regular dude in the cartoon fucking the chick, then that's you having sex with a woman. And that's the straightest thing there is. So I, uh, I could still see a guy telling himself. He can successfully do the mental gymnastics where he watches the Futa cartoon. Well, I'm, and, he's like, and he's more straight. Okay, I'm the cock, yeah. and there's two chicks, and I'm as the cock, I'm pleasuring. I'm pleasuring everyone both at the same time. Well, okay, so yeah. there is a subjectivity to this in how well you can like self insert to different scenarios because not everyone's going to have the same, you know, uh, hang ups or barriers to break through as I am or you mm -hmm. are. So there is a certain amount of subjectivity to it. So I think you probably need to establish like a baseline. What's the majority, you know, what's the majority of people going to do? And um, I think... Well, the issue with that is I think the majority has an intuition that is not based on this really cool deep dive we've done here today. You know what I mean? That's true. People like my, used to believe my the intuition that I never, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, people can be I wrong. I never bothered to extrapolate on this initial intuition that it's definitely gay to watch and jerk off to Futa porn. Yeah, that was that was an and argument. I, I think from, most people were probably like that. That was an argument from popularity by me, um, meaning yeah. uh, an appeal to what the average or the most amount of people think is right, which is a logical fallacy. The crowd. Yeah, but just, but just because everyone thinks that doesn't mean it's right. Yeah. So, so, so to back Whoop. up, what I'm saying is, um, you can't use that to decide if the guy that can do the mental gymnastics to imagine himself as the dick pleasuring two chicks at once is an exception, because the crowd has not listened to this episode of Cream Crew. This episode of Big Brain Cream of Crew. Yes. <clears throat> All right, I'm getting real fucking dialed in here. I'm getting real locked in. <clears throat> Is it gay? Is it gay? Is it more gay? It really depends on what you're enjoying. If you're enjoying the boobies going up and down and there's more boobies, that's less gay. <laughs> if for even an instant, your ape brain <laughs> takes takes pleasure in in your cock because you've accidentally self inserted for even the briefest moment. Then that is probably more gay. Well, well no, but I'm and let me. But I'm talking about okay. Go, sorry, let, and let me preface. I just not, don't want to be miss. I just don't want to be misunderstood. No, no, like, that's fine. I just I wanted to put it out there because I know people get their fucking. Panties in a bunch. We're not making a moral declaration on 
being gay or not. We're just trying to do science. And as <laughs> the straightest men, maybe to have ever walked the earth, we just want to make sure that we are adhering to our own sexuality, which is very rigid and pointing in only one direction. And yes, that may also be supported by the literature and the Bible is that literature, but that doesn't mean it's right <laughs> or wrong. It's just our personal proclivities. So I just wanted to make that clear for everyone and we can continue. They're just, they're, I mean, it's, they're just philosophical truths that are amusing to suss out. Well, regardless of not just amusing, how you feel about them morally. Real science. Everyone accepts that there's gay people and there's straight people. And therefore, there's things that are gay and things that aren't gay. And hey, if there's two in in an alternate universe, that would never happen. If there was two <laughs> gay guys called Tom and Don, and they had a podcast that they were hijacking <laughs> for their other product called Big Brain, which is available on the Tom and Don channel, and they happened to be gay, and they were asking, "Is it straight to do X? Is it more or less straight to do Y?" And in that light, straightness was maybe being betrayed just a tiny, weedy little bit as a negative. Um, then I would say more power to you and you're not doing anything wrong or hurting anyone. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, back to, back to the episode. Um, of, Those good, those guys sound like great guys. Do you I know what? I, I, would, I would certainly go to their channel, Tom and Don, and give their <laughs> excellent big brain podcast a listen. I hear... They have giant brains in it and they wear three-piece suits and they float through space <laughs> and talk about very important things like this. So, I don't know. That's just me. What you do is up to you. What, what were we talking about again? I don't know, but Hunter, Hunter probably shouldn't leave. More morally Hunter, grandstanding. <laughs> Hunter probably shouldn't be allowed to leave because um, I saw a comment. Well, this is what he gets, dude. Yeah, it's true. Fucking prick. What was the comment? I just saw a comment once that said... Uh, when Hunter's not there, these episodes turn into borderline hate speech. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, fucking gave, gave me a good belly laugh. Um, <laughs> Once again, not making any moral proclamations uh, about being gay. Moral proclamations. It, well, uh, yeah. So, shut up. There you go. Shut the fuck up. Let us, let us talk about this. Leave us alone. You know what? When uh, when Isaac Newton said the world was round, you know, I'm pretty sure people heckled him as well and tried to denounce him as some sort of moral ingrate. You know what? But all he was doing was tr trying to figure things out in this crazy, crazy world. Okay. So where do where do we currently stand on the food question? I'm still I'm entirely lost. undecided. I, I'm going to be honest with you. Through, through 45 minutes of this debate, I am still <laughs> firmly centered on the question when I take my instincts out of it. And your instincts are probably utterly unshaken, I'd assume, as mine are as well. Yeah, but that's what, again, that's what we do on this show called Big Cream Crew, is that we try and take the <laughs> stupid human base element out of it and just rely on nothing but fucking logic and sick reasoning skills. I do find it funny how frustrating that is to some people too well that we can be like just just uh, just this is entire process disimpassionate observers of the universe and its secrets and like what you know what the actual philosophical rock bottom of an assumption is well, just just some certain people get really irritated by this kind of discourse and it's amusing and it's perhaps easier to have the discourse when they're not party to it oh. <laughs> i'm today. now i'm caught up i was like where's where, where he going with this is this is he is this a dig at, at the gays i, just, I thought we just like put, uh, no, i thought not, that not we i thought we put that to bed i have no <laughs> i have zero problem with the gays i promise okay so um with that out of the way what yeah. what was your point? Well, I, uh, because you, you <clears throat> said I misrepresented what I was, you were I was just I was just I was just agreeing with you that uh my intuitions and my logical standpoint on this have not changed and I am fully undecided. Okay, follow up question. But follow up question. Would it be gay if I took off this blankie that's making me really fucking hot and sweaty 
and revealed my bare male bosom to the world? Or, sh- or should I just tough out the next 15 minutes sweating profusely? Is that, um, I can't remember if that's okay on YouTube. Is it? Ma- no, it's male Twitch. nipples. Twitch, Twitch, <laughs> Twitch, Twitch banned male nipples. I like that. YouTube's that's still the quality cool. in action. Fucking God bless. Um, I will say maybe if we were staring into each other's eyes, but I don't see you right now. The the viewer has to see you, and that's not really your problem. I'm also scared so of being I'm want. also scared of being the guy who gets semi naked on a podcast because that's always like yeah. never a good look. It's always lame. But I'm really profusely sweating and quite hot. <laughs> May have been the topic of conversation, but I'm putting it down to the blanket. <laughs> <clears throat> I think I'm just going to tough it out. Maybe, I'll tell you what, hold on. Okay, I've got a great idea. I've got a little fucking solution. I just got to do some research real quick. To the Futa thing or your blanket huh? conundrum? No, my blankie conundrum. <laughs> okay, I can kill two birds with one stone and take out one limb, and now it's a fucking toga, boys. And now we're fucking doing philosophy. Did you have to Google what a toga looked yes. like? Yes. <laughs> okay. Having said that, <laughs> this has made me look about 95% more gay. So I'm not quite sure where that leaves me. I think I'm just going to cover up. I've become self-conscious. I'm getting back in the blanket. <laughs> okay. Is it gay when Andrew Tate does a podcast without a shirt? Well, no, because he's top G and literally incapable of being gay. So, I don't know what to tell you there. Mm. Real talk, though, Andrew Tate is incredibly gay. And my true hero, Sean <coughs> Strickland, had a lot to say about it. And I was like, yes, Queen, <laughs> I agree. Now, if we ask this question to... And in fact, actually, Sean Strickland is why this question even came to me in a flash of, in a flash of lightning. Did he say something about this to uh, the style bender himself? Yes, aptly named style bender. And that's funny because for those of you who don't know, in UK <laughs> slang, a bender is someone who's gay. But he he said to him in a press conference, he said, no one who beats off to cartoons is going to beat me. Sean Strickland's a UFC fighter, by the way. He said, no one who beats off to cartoons is going to beat me. And he was a man of his word. And then I also plagiarized a part where he was talking about apple pie and ice cream. I just wanted to come clean about the whole thing. Uh, but we can continue where we left off. I'm sorry for that aside, where I had a little little where identity we, crisis. Where did we leave you off, though? Because as you said, I think that in 48 minutes, we've made zero progress. <laughs> <laughs> Not all progress is just about the answer. You know, the fucking journey it's of true. discovery. You know it's true. Is we've, it's true. We've I laid a lot of questions out that people like scientists in the future can use our research to form conclusions. I would even go so far to say that this audience has probably not thought about any of this ever before. What else haven't they thought about? I mean, exactly. probably a lot of things. Perhaps a few of them have been addressed as well on another YouTube channel. Called Tom and Don. That's Tom and Don. Type it into YouTube or type in Big Brain. Type in Big Brain to Spotify or Apple Podcasts. I do feel like they want a conclusion, <sighs> though. And maybe we should knuckle down for the last 10 minutes here and find the fucking answer to this. Because otherwise, it's going to be the biggest uh, blue balling of all time, ironically. <laughs> well, I, I would also like to uh, encourage you all to weigh in. Because Cream Crew is one YouTube channel where I still read almost all the comments. That's true. Me as well small enough to read them so if you have an opinion about this please give it but but use innocuous words that will not increase our chances of getting demonetized please yes in the comments. what's more likely to keep us monetized use those words <laughs> say okay <laughs> instead of gay you the our code word for gay is slay queen so anytime you want to say gay just write slay queen is it Slay Queen? Is, the... <laughs> <laughs> is it Slay Queen to watch? Oh, I can't say hentai or Futa. Yeah, I think I think Futa is probably bad too. Yeah, we need okay. a code word. Code word for Futa is gonna be Lizzo. Is it Slay Queen to watch Lizzo? 
And then we need one more for hentai. And that can be... Uh, oh, no. What do you got, Don? Um, banana controversy. No, no. Is it slay? That's not going to push it, us in the algorithm. Queen? That's not going to push us in the algorithm, yeah, you fucking yeah, idiot. Conch, you're right. You're right. You're. I'm sorry. Gosh. Controversy. Not a good idea. Is it Slay Queen to enjoy Lizzo more than straight? And then what is hentai? Pop music. There you, there you go. Pop music is hentai. Mm-hmm. Lizzo is futa. And <laughs> I already forgot the other one. Slay Queen. Slay Queen. Slay Queen is gay. Mm-hmm. So just use those we words. Will- We'll also put an appendix of these words in the pinned comment of the episode if we remember to help you out. That's true. And then, yes, please, please commence discussion, and we will read every comment as we always do for every episode. Yes. Um. So. So anyway, eight eight minutes to find our own conclusion. Yeah. Okay. Futa, 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 futa. Whew. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a little think. <laughs> Okay. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to have a really hard time saying at any point on this podcast, it's not gay to watch food. <laughs> so I, <laughs> I have an inherent bias, perhaps. Okay, if... All right, here's, we, we make this simple. You've got two thumbnails in front of you. You can only pick one. It's the same thumbnail, except in one, it's a dude fucking a chick cartoon. And in the other, it is a uh, Lizzo fucking a chick. Um, Which one are you picking? Probably the straight guy. Really? I'm being intellectually honest. Yes, I would pick the quote unquote straight cartoon porn over the... Well, that that leaves me in a predicament. Because I don't want to be the gay one on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, so gun to Tom's head, he chooses Futa oh. over regular hentai. Let me play. Let me play. Let me play devil's advocate. Uh, all right, double the boobies. Okay. All right, I, I'll, I'll I'll extend you a uh, all the branch. I don't know if this gets us anywhere new. Um, so you have two hentai thumbnails, right? Mm, yep. And one has a dude and a chick, and the other seems to have two regular chicks with vaginas. But you don't see the vaginas, you just see the tits and the thumbnail. Oh, and then, it all comes back to the self Then insert, maybe you bro. click... May, well, no, no, no. Then maybe you click that, because you're like, oh, it's uh, it's lesbian cartoon porn. Yeah, and but... And then it opens... But and then she has a, a dick. Maybe, dude, maybe I'm a little bit gay then because I would choose the man and the woman, <laughs> you know? I don't know what... What it, do you mean the man and the woman? The straight, you know, the man and the woman. Yeah, that's what I was saying. No, but but you're saying, like, on one hand, there's two lesbians. On the other hand, there's... Oh, the balloons are back. Yay, yay me. On the other... What is happening? I don't... You know what? I don't know, <laughs> but I kind of like that this decided to happen on this episode of all episodes you keep, you keep saying lesbian maybe your apple computer is congratulating you for coming out <laughs> over and over yeah yeah that was good um thanks the, the fuck it you're a, yeah you're a fuck <laughs> yeah <laughs> I'm doing good. I'm trying to talk this episode um, these are these are the, these are the things I have to say that I keep to <laughs> <laughs> Keep to myself. If you're wondering why the podcast isn't thirty percent funnier, then it's because Don yeah. is keeping these incredible jokes to himself instead of sharing with the class like everyone wants. Um, anyway, what are you saying? Uh, I what thought saying? I thought you were saying on one side is like straight cartoon porn, on the other side is two lesbians. But it may have been because I've been interrupting <clears> you nonstop. No, no, it was, but the lesbians is secretly... No, s- I get that, but I would pick the straight one. Yeah. Yeah, I would too. Well, except... But I didn't know if exactly. you would. Exactly. <laughs> so that's because what you made past. me ask about, you fucking... Yeah. Oh, bleep that, Elliot. I'll get demonetized. <laughs> you coward. <laughs> you goddamn coward. <laughs> so, like, yeah, which one would you pick? In the past... In the past, you've put forward the les- lesbian porn is less gay than... Dude and chicks, well, you're not looking at a dick. Well, it's and for a similar, 
For a similar argument, you've also said that machine porn, whereby you have one chick that's masturbating with a machine that's, you know, pumping a dildo, is also less gay than regular porn. See, I would pick that probably over the straight porn. Right. And that's less that's less gay. Yeah. Again, it's Are you we, picking it because you're telling yourself that's less gay. I have to watch that. I'm picking so it because know. like it's more awesome. And I am the machine. <laughs> I am the, the fucking <laughs> cockbuster 3000. This is what it keeps circling back to. It's all about the self-insert. That's, that's what it, we keep coming to the same thing, right? And mm -hmm. you can't self-insert into the footer girl, but you can watch it voy voyeuristically, right? Mm -hmm. And it's not necessarily the dick that's getting you hard. It's like... It's all the components of like straight sex, but with added tits because it's a voyeuristic and the self-insert part's not there. Straight porn, it is all about the self-insert and none about the voyeurism. Mm -hmm. So it's almost min-maxing in both directions. Right. And you know what? I'm going to have to call it a draw. I actually think it's maybe equally straight to, to do both <laughs> because it's really you about- me. <laughs> no, I didn't lose you. It's making sense. Okay, you've got two. Okay, okay. RP, RPG stats, right? You've got two, you've got two sliders. One. What? Okay. Just fucking hear I'll me out. One. To, yeah. Okay. Go. Go for it. One. Right. One of the sliders is voyeurism, right? One of the sliders mm -hmm. is a self insert, right? Mm -hmm. If the voyeurism slider is at a hundred percent and the self insert is zero percent, and you're watching a man and a woman fuck, that is fucking gay and cucky because. You are like <laughs> getting off to another man fucking a woman. If you then, if, uh, if yes. you change those sliders and you put voyeurism at zero percent and self insert a hundred percent, that's very straight because you are becoming that man fucking that woman. And yes, th mm -hmm. there's different aids to do that, POV shots, whatever. But the point is, is you are the man fucking the woman. That's straight. So mm -hmm. if the footer is essentially a hundred percent voyeuristic rating but a zero percent self-insert what are you voyeuring you're voyeuring two women one with a magical cock having sex and mm -hmm. that maybe not instinctually but logically is not gay because you avoid the whole self-insert thing about being feminine and that being like gay you see what i'm saying Yes, but you did just say voyeurism. 100% voyeurism is gay when it's between a man and a woman. Yes. But you're saying this is two women and one of them has a dick. Yeah, that... Because there's no self-insert angle anymore. Right. It's not the voyeurism I... is gay. It's what you're voyeuring that's gay. If you're voyeuring two men having sex, that's gay. If you're voyeuring two yeah, women there's... having sex, it's not. But I think there's other reasons that porn could be gay apart from how well it facilitates self-insert or voyeurism. So it's kind of like it's it's kind of like tr trying to put all possible things into those two along this like two point spectrum whereas I think there's other ways something could be gay. You know. Oh, I just think that's those are the nitty-gritties, you know. <laughs> Details. Okay. Uh, immediately uh self-insert but it's two dudes fucking. Yeah, super gay. Gay. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so it kind of just gets us back to square one. Well, no, that, no, 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 that's proving my point. How so? Depending on what the subject matter is, either voyeurism okay. or self-insert can be gay or not gay. It all depends on okay, the so subject how, matter. So to finish laying the field, what is not gay subject matter for voyeurism? Two chicks? Lesbians? Yes. Okay. <laughs> And 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 this the, again, this whole scenario assumes. Do you know what voyeurism is? That yeah, of course. Well, maybe people in the audience don't. I'm just talking about like watching someone You're as hiding a, in a closet. Yeah, well, like that Rick and Morty. Well, episode that's kind of that's that's cock. Superman. Shirt no, no, no. On. That's voyeurism is like spying on something, right? Okay, okay, sure. Well, it's not your wife. You're spying on two other people. Yeah, you're spy you're jerk, spying yeah. on two girls having sex, cartoon girls. Okay, and it's awesome <laughs> and not gay. So. Do you see what I'm saying? But if you self insert it yes. into one of the girls, very gay. <laughs> because I, you're feminine I, now. Well, yeah, because you're identifying as a girl or a girl with a dick. I'm just saying, like, 
my logic is infallible and I am making an awful lot of sense <laughs> right now. <laughs> yeah, this de- definitely doesn't just ring us back to like 10 minutes into this podcast no, it, where I... it it's perfect. They are equally No, be- because straight. what No, no, no. What makes what makes you I'm getting <sighs> mad now. <laughs> I see. So you're saying self-insert, but it's two women. That's gay. Yes. Because now, oh, I'm a woman. Yes. Right. Gay. And you're you're saying voyeurism of two women, but one of them has a dick is gay because they have a dick. No. Voyeurism of that is straight because you're not voyeuring the cock. You're voyeuring like the titties and everything. And the cock is just a a implement to. It's an implement. To induce pleasure. (laughs) Okay. Between the women. (laughs) <laughs> I don't want to say it. <laughs> My heart still doesn't believe it. But as as you said, futa porn is not gay. I guess. <laughs> Tom wins again. Another convert. Tom to, to wins the, again. Another convert <laughs> to the to the futa awakening. That is sweeping the nation and all men of character and class. Yep. Yeah, I to me, I think like again, instincts aside, if you put them next, they're they're kind of it's a draw. You know, they're both as straight and gay <laughs> as each other, which sounds like a cop out, but that's genuinely where we've landed. <clears throat> yeah, I, I don't think I'm going to change my habits over this discussion, but I, I guess I'll just <laughs> leave it rationally. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, boys, that was a fucking another excellent episode of uh, Cream Crew Coded Big Brain. And you know, if you're if you have some downtime between excellent episodes of Cream Crew, then please do feel free to check out Big Brain. It's on all your podcasting platforms, and it is on the Tom and Don YouTube channel where you really get to enjoy it because the video is quite excellent and much more um, effort than this steaming pile of cream crew. (laughs) So yeah, that's it. And if you want to support the podcast, go to patreon.com forward slash cream crew, baby. For weekly bonus episodes. um, Yeah. So we'll see you there. All right. Thank you, boys. Yeah.